we do have music therapy at hospital, and I've seen, uh, I do describe uh, a man called Sammy, uh, who had um, had a stroke two years before that, and um, Sammy hadn't responded to speech therapy, and it, it seemed that he was going to be landed for the rest of his life with the aphasia. But our music therapist, Connie Tomeno, uh, happened to be passing one day, uh, and he was in the corridor, and he was singing Old Man River with great feeling and, and with a the tune there, and the two or three of the words. And she was intrigued, and she sort of pulled him into music therapy and sang with him and started to give him some of the other words and then encouraged him to sing. He knew all the old songs and ballads. And gradually, as he sang, he would get more and more words with them, and then Connie would, would set little phrases to, to music, sort of um, please and thank you and how are you. And, um, uh, and then he became able to use phrases and short phrases by himself. So he could go home for the weekend and said, had a good time, saw the kids. It's not great language. Uh, you can't write a book with little phrases like this. But at least he, he could communicate now and he could communicate with his kids. And so um, uh, with ordinary music therapy, uh, one can probably achieve this sort of uh, simple, uh, simple sort of reactive speech, answering questions, with the very intensive melodic intonation therapy, um, something like uh, deep, reflective, and propositional speech can be hoped for.